Once again, they resort to the streets. The anger this time, though, is directed at the government for seemingly caving in. People have decided, didn't we vote no? So that means no to austerity measures, he says. Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras, justifying himself at Parliament, said he did his best. That his new proposal isn't guaranteed success, but that it's better than offers that came before. But what he's put on the table is a significant change in course that some in his own party reject. The proposal has Greece carrying out reforms the government had once vowed it wouldn't. It asks for $75 billion in debt relief. In return, Greece would eliminate early retirement, raise sales tax, privatize some government enterprises and end huge tax breaks for islands. Some of those measures, even lesser ones, rejected by 61 percent of voters in last week's rushed referendum. So why the change? Banks, the prospect of a euro exit and the fate of the banks, their possible failure. And the kind of anger and chaos that could unleash. As it is, they're still closed and pensioners still have to line up to get their maximum 60 euro a day in cash. While Germany has yet to officially weigh in, the French president praised the proposal as serious and credible, a proposal which, by the way, was drafted with the help of French officials. The Greeks have just shown their determination to remain in the Eurozone, says François Hollande. But even though the Greek parliament accepted the proposal, European officials and leaders must still consider it on the weekend. At risk still is the status of the euro and a government that dared to say no, then blinked. Nalayed, CBC News, London.